What up in the Sean's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger in today's video We're gonna be trying out the overpower 2023 YZ250 and just see if it literally lives up to the hype I did try to qualify with this bike in EU did not qualify I think I was just super foreign to the bike I literally hopped on it that day and I uh, was just thinking that I could actually be Superman but I didn't know how the bike was going to react to me, how it was going to gel. Also, I didn't think I had a pretty good setup. So, shout out to Reaper Doc. I did watch his video so I can get this setup. Um, so, that's what we are rocking right now. And uh, just seeing if it's uh, going to be a viable thing for next Friday. If we can go to uh, High Point and at least put down some laps. But I got to see how it's going to be in this 8 minute plus 2. Just to see if it's even viable. Uh, this is my first actual official time being on this setup, so we're probably going to work it in. And if it is something that we can do, then we're going to use it all sh all throughout the week. That way we can feel comfortable know how the bike reacts. So I think that was the L me just trying to hop on a bike, not even you know feeling comfortable on it in general. So yeah, lock in. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm just going to wait for them to start the race, and I'll see you guys back at the peak, maybe. There was a dude in here named Cheeks. <laughs> I don't know what I did to homeboy, but... It was absolutely garbage, if anything. Turn my speed back on. And standings. Yeah, kid was absolutely garbage if I've ever seen anything like that. Degenerate. Talking about riding a 450 and not able to even hit his lines and then try to get me out of here. <laughs> Funny times. I think the biggest thing, just to try to see the consistency on this bike and see how fast I can go. I should have turned off auto chat or the chat up top, man. Kids are a little ridiculous in there. Not a bad start. I mean, I'm all the way on the outside. Holy smokes. That kid just gives no Fs to whoever Carl team is. Best thing I can do is just try to survive. There we go. Best thing I can try to do is survive. There we go. Ah, oh, don't land on him, right? Oh my god, of course I land on him. Of course I land on him, right? Take the far outside. Whoa! This guy's gonna go push all the way outside. Willing to bet? Yes, sir. I knew it. Holy smokes, dude! Holy smokeruskies! Coming up from where, bro? Pretty cool skin you have. I think I have that one too. I don't even know what bike that was on. Her in. Don't fall wide on me. Don't go wide on me. Dude, why are you guys going down 10 times a minute, dude? I think I, I think if I wouldn't have got game crash, I would have had a better gate, but unfortunate. It's all right, we're all good. Just make it back in good time here. Got eight minutes or six minutes plus two, so right now. Gotta love the pubs, man. Shout out to Blaze, bruh. Trying to hug inside so I ain't gotta get hit by the sand chicken guy. The freaking. <laughs> That's his lines, guys. That's his lines. He, he claims that territory. Well, the bet he goes outside. Oh, he doesn't. Nice. I have to take your inside, though, Bucko. Sorry. Take it nice and tight. Fourth gear. Ride high. Gotta watch out for a little Yogi Bear. Doesn't feel bad. I'm not gonna lie. Like the Yamaha does feel good. Like after like the first, you know, first lap cheese. Like let's actually see how we can work this bike. But it feels really great right now. Just has such a quick like you know RPMs, dude. This thing gets up so quick. I love it.
Now we're just kind of following in the suit. Take the far outside. Take the far inside. And Trusky does not know where he wants to go. All we can do is just stay up right now. We can stay up for like the next minute. I think we'll be golden. We can get past a lot of people and move up there. Cause we're kind of like in the middle meets and crannies of like the territory of like whether you crash or not. Yes, sir. I knew it. I knew it. See, I knew exactly what I just said. It was right where we are, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, bike feels great, honestly. If I can at least get a little bit more motos in this week with it, I think I'll feel comfortable to try to qualify with it, but I think nothing's deterring me from the Honda, because especially as soon as I got back on the Honda, I literally was able to run the qualifying lap pretty quick. Run like a two, like a low 204, almost a 203, or I think I did run a 203. But it's just like, that would have got me. Like, it wouldn't have got me top qual. Like, I'm not a top qual guy, but it wouldn't have got me like completely last. But yeah, I would have been happy with that. We're already in top 10. Just got to stay consistent now. I like going fourth gear through there because it's almost like you think you're not in high RPMs or you're not going fast, but you really are. This gives you more control over the suspension, at least in my own opinion. I've been doing a lot of IRL riding too as well. Like if you guys are watching this video today, I went riding yesterday. I've gotten a lot of motos recorded, so be on the lookout for that. But super excited, man. I mean, it's such a learning curve and it's so fun to see how like, how like you play the game and like how difficult this game can go, like from like zero to 100. And then like, oh, what the heck? You go like actually riding IRL and it's just like the exact same thing. Like, like how you start this game is how you start IRL, dude. You're such a new man such a noob but i love it i mean it's such a learning curve and such a fun experience oh my gosh dude Ugh, i'm like sucky through that section dude i just can't find the right spot nice Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Yeah, third gear kind of gives you all your power. A lot of good power. Drop down to second. Like, quick shifting between second and, and third is like a really good middle ground. Just to understand where you, you're not losing any power to the bike. I, heck, I don't even think I'm losing any power when I'm staying in third everywhere. Easy peasy right there. One little mistake, one little crash, one little mistake. That's all right. Other than the first lap. I mean, we're 16 seconds off of whoever's in first. Taking it right now. Like, honestly, take him with a grain of salt. We can go get Yogi. Fourth gear right here. I just like doing it. Lower down. easy peasy fourth gear yeah the bike's absolutely amazing i will say you gotta have like a little bit of a decent setup on this bike for it to get like for it to uh work like for a long run i think you can just hop on the bike and ride it like i think you can do that for any bike but to actually like get it to work for a very good amount of time yeah also just trying to see how the bike reacts to certain things This outside, far outside can do for me. Man, like I'm too much on the throttle, like it's sending me. Too much on the throttle. I think I just need to let go on some of these bumps. Let the bike actually progressively slow down. It's another thing I need to work on in like very tough terrains, allowing myself to get off the gas real quick. It's gonna like save me in the long run. Ooh. 
Like here, just let off real quick, make the turn, get back on it. Like I'm still carrying a lot of momentum. Just gotta remember that. It's something like muscle memory I need to do. Like right here, even get off the gas real quick and then start her back up. Just so I can make the turn, you know? Something that like I keep like half throttling for and I need to actually like fully disengage just for a second. Not a bad line right there. We still got Yogi in front of us. If I can pass Yogi, that'd be good. Because I'm like almost in a top five position. And I just keep messing up. Like simple things like that. Keep, do keep doing simple mistakes like that. Like I'll literally get gain all that time and I'll lose all that time. Like that quick. Oh my god, another super mistake. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. I think we can bring back that time then, because Yogi's gone now. He's at the top of the hill. I just saw him. Come on, cuh. See if we can get our position back then, at least. I think he has a lot of cuts, so he didn't even really pass me. Nice, nice, nice. I think I just I think like what the heck dude as this as E-Road starts to happen it, it gets a little weird in E-Road I think the Honda is definitely better in E-Road I will say that this thing might be just a hot lapper for when there's no E-Road but as the E-Road starting to kick down like I'm starting to get a little fucked more and maybe it's just me dropping down too low of a gear and maybe I need to stay in that higher just so I'll, the suspension can take it a little bit better also another thing I'm probably doing let me let me see how I can test that once again, this is like literally my first moto on the suspension and literally trying to give it an actual go. So, yeah, I don't know, dude. That's that's like wild. But also, it's like how rough the track is. Definitely might just need to be in a higher gear always when you start to get into a higher D form. Like third gear is like the lowest you can go to keep in this bike sane. You got to bounce it back up. Oh, wow, wow, okay, oh, no, no, word, word two, word two, word two, word two, oh my goodness. Dude, bike just went absolutely bonkers, dude. Oh, heck no, bro, oh, heck no. Not the last lap, almost the last lap, dude. That's so wild, man. Literally was talking about being consistent and literally like second to last lap, dude. Second to last lap, just absolutely wild. Just throws me out for a loop, man. I won't take anything away from the bike, because that's, like, literally completely me. That's me on the sticks. Like, even right here, front tucking last time? Like, what? We got the E-Road set to a pretty good standard, though. For an eight-minute. Especially they let practice go all the way down as well, so it breaks down pretty nice for when the track actually works and starts. I need me a new controller here as well. I'm starting to get like weird stick drift on my left analog stick. Nice. Nice. Feeling it? If we can go catch back up on that cowie, dude, I'll, I'll be, I'll be happy. I'll be. Oh my goodness. We can catch back up on that cowie. I'll be a happy guy. Be a little happy camper today. I don't know where he's at, but he's all the way down at the hill. And that's how many times I messed up to let him just go away. Oh no, he might have went down right here. Okay. I went down right here. Oh, that's somebody else. All right, go, go. Not, not a bad round. You know, top 10, I honestly, I almost like was able to catch to a top five. I made a little couple mistakes, but 
I will say, give me a little bit more time on this bike throughout the week. I'm not going to give up on it just to see if it's going to be something I really want to ride. And yeah. Also, huge shout out to Weremy. Um, I am riding his bike that he made on MXB Mods. I'm sorry I said that so late. I should have said that in the beginning of the video. But if you made it to the end of the video and you liked watching that I made, you know, use your skin. Use your WD, bro. Other than that, GG. We definitely need more time on the bike. But I'm happy with it. I'm happy with my progress. I actually was actually very consistent until I started messing up myself. So, bike feels good. I think it's just in, in E-Road. Yeah, like E-Road. Just got to stay up in the higher higher gear so the suspension can really work for you. But thanks for watching. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. And I'll catch you guys in the absolute next one. Pop, 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 pop